the electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. This week's special through April 16th is buy one, get one free on 8-ounce flat iron steaks, limit four per visit. Also, $2.50 off with any purchase of bread and burrata. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations at 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Spring is here and it's time to wake up Judson. Judson Irrigation is eager and ready to get your sprinkler system up and running for the season. Judson's technicians will check for winter damage, adjust your sprinkler heads, and show you how to set your controller for effective sprinkling coverage. The Judson Irrigation team is here for you. Stay safe. Keep summer green. Call Judson Irrigation 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you're passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. The need in our community, if you just look at the numbers, it's frightening. We're serving over a thousand kids every day. With the passion of our people, I really feel like our potential to be of even greater service to kids and families who are struggling is just unlimited. But in order to have the greatest impact, we need all the help we can get from the community. Why wait until Friday to start your weekend? Go ahead, start right now. You're thirsty now, and 93.7 The Ticket is here to help you stock up. Just in time for the weekend when I like to hit the clubs. Time to broaden your horizons and try some new wine and beer. It's Thirsty Thursday with Kevin Meyer from Meyer's Cork and Bottle. Oh, there it is! Woo! That was a good poppy pop pop. pop. That, that was good. a legit one. That was the real McCoy. Psst. Oh, so cool. So refreshing. <laughs> you know those sounds. It means Kevin Meyer, Meyer's Cork and Bottles in the building. Kevin, welcome into Old School. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Are, we're live on, yeah. on the radio again, we're right? We're not just streaming. We're back. Boy, the Royals are hotter than a $5 pistol, aren't they? Uh, Good night. They Raise are... the celebratory glass this yes, afternoon. Indeed. That, yes, indeed. That, that doesn't look like a, a deep lager, but it looks still tasty. So uh, in sticking with the um, Come on, my boy. Masters <laughs> Week, we are going with a the golf theme. And uh, this is from Divots Brewing in Norfolk, Nebraska. And it's called their Crushable Kolsch, which is a German-style Kolsch beer, which is a lager. They come in at a smooth 4.9% ABV. Smooth. And uh, not smooth, smooth. Smooth? Yeah, smooth. Like DJ Smooth. Like DJ Smooth. <laughs> yes. Is that how it's going to taste? Let's give her a try, and you can tell me. Salud. Oh, yeah. Crushable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a this is a beer. true patio pounder right here. Yeah, that's you fill your cooler full of oh, those man, on the golf yes. course. Oh yeah, yeah. that's some swing. It's loose. not super hoppy, no, but it's very tasty, clean, crisp, yeah, clean, crisp, nice and cold, cool. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're uh, we're bringing the uh, the golf flavor today. Feels like a great. It feels like a great beer for like a day like today, where mm. it's nice. It's breezy. You can just sit outside, just relax. It is more than breezy. It's flat out windy. It's been insane. It's flat out insane. Yeah. It, yeah. it was blowing my car sturdy, halfway. I am not. <laughs> it was blowing, it was I had my to car. dig my feet in to get yeah. here today. Blow away like a like a paper bag. Pretty much. In the breeze. Katy Perry had that song, you know, firework. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Oh, Every, yeah. Through the wind, wanting to start again. <laughs> there you go. Near me. You're that guy. Well, good thing you keep a now. narrow profile. You know, you don't have a lot of wind resistance. So <laughs> Right. Very aerodynamic. Right. Sometimes it's a blessing. Sometimes it's a curse. You're like cottonwood without the leaves on it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Kevin, you ever hit a hole really in one? I'm sorry? You ever hit a hole in one? 
Uh, no, I have not. I've come very, very, very close. Like how close is very, very, very close? Inside of six inches. Oh, yeah. Like, and that's where the ball came to rest. That wasn't like I went it by the there. hole. No, yeah. it, it stopped six inches next to the hole. I've so. done, I've done two, I've, 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 I've hit the flag. Like, so it bounces, hits the flag, and then it goes, you know, five feet. Yeah. I've did what Kevin did, where it's sitting like, if the wind was blowing just a little bit more, it's a few revolu- uh, revolutions. Yeah. Yeah. Revolutions. Yeah. I almost said revelation. Revolutions, <laughs> and it's in. So I'm salty because I go up there and I take a picture of it, and I'm right. like, you little sucker. Go. And then I went in. I walk up to the, I walk up. Cause you know you have those shots, Kev, mm-hmm. where you hit it and you hit it on the button, and you knew it was. I mean, yes, you're like, get there, get down, yeah, and it's freaking ten feet over the green. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like that- just the wrong club. You hit it right at the flag. It's literally on path to the flag. It's just over. I think I've had probably a dozen eagles in my life. The uh, the 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 shot you were talking about earlier that just nuzzled up. That's oh. what they call the Fidel Castro. Tell me why. <laughs> because it needed one more revolution. Oh <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I'm, I, I, that's good to know because I need to call that. Um, <laughs> now it's it's good when you're playing skins because yeah. that's tap in, baby. Matter of fact, you don't even have to tap that in. We inside the leather. Yeah. If yeah. you're inside leather, you good. You good. All right. Even on a birdie. Even on a birdie. All mm-hmm. right. No, they might make you put it out. It depends on who you're playing with. It, it depends on who you're playing with. Yeah. I, I play with some nefarious characters sometimes and uh you know you have to watch them when Shady. they go in the woods. Yeah. Or just oh yeah. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Dude, my father's the worst. My father's the biggest golf cheater in the world. Mm, like he, how bad? Oh, like well, like fluffing up his lie in, in the rough. Um <laughs> pretending he found his ball when he didn't get foot wedge when I mean, you name it. And then he'll go like, Hey, you only beat me by two shots. I'm like, well, really I beat you by about 10, but you <laughs> cheat. So, you know, <laughs> but that's just the old man always trying to needle his kid. You know, that's just how it is. Do you yeah. go golfing with your, does your son join you ever? Uh, sometimes he, you know, he never really got the golf bug. He played select baseball growing up and he's a big dude. He's six, four, like two thirty five, two forty, 240. And so it, when he takes a rip, I mean, he can, he can bomb it, but mm. it, it's everywhere. <laughs> and, he sprays it. Yeah. It's, it's all fields. And the uh, yeah, in him. exactly. And uh, he has, uh, yeah, the, the touch of a sewer rat. Uh, just, it just, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's fun to play with. Nice. Um, Kolsch. Does that word mean something? It does. So it is a, um, it's a, a German style lager and it has something to do with the type of malts that they go, that they brew it with. Um, and what's interesting is that they brew it under what's called the German purity law. And basically what that law says is the only thing you can make your beer from is hops, grain, water, and yeast. That's it. Mm. And so it can be difficult because there's no other product or ingredient or anything like it in in the uh in the brew to cover up any mistakes mm-hmm. so you have to be really really competent you have to be really really clean and sterilized um but uh, that's the way the germans are they're very type a so um and you know and so what's interesting is that you know on the surface these beers are more simplified um because they don't have all these you know four different types of hops and and uh you know s- triple fermentation, uh, you know, back in the boil type thing. It's, it's just, uh, they're very simplified beers, but they take a lot longer to make than a, a like a pale ale would, uh, they'll take up to, you know, five, six, seven weeks to ferment Ooh. out completely. So, um, it's, uh, it's, it's almost sort of a dichotomy that, that this is simpler, the beer, the more difficult it is to make. Are they the Mac football of beers? That's fair to say. I mean, it's fundamental. Yeah, it's sound. It's executed with precision, mm-hmm. uh, but it's not fancy. Right? Is that is that I, the I analogy that, yeah. you're going for? Yeah. Okay. I don't I watch don't a lot of football. I describe it as Iowa football because that's boring. It's like really good defense, but it's really bad on the other end. Like, there's nothing offensive about Mac football. It's uh, yeah, it's it's entertaining, uh, but uh, probably not the uh, the most complex uh in style of play so yeah i, right. I can dig that Fair i can enough. dig that so uh All right. the wine hit us 
So this is from a winery called Vina Robles, and they are from Paso Robles. In uh, it's the central Cali. Cali, yeah. I know that place. Yeah, central You're from Cali. Paso Robles. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And it's it's probably the fastest. Central growing... Cali. I used to live in Lompoc. Okay, in yeah. Vandenberg, Santa Maria. You're Santa right there. Inez. Yeah, you're right there, Santa Inez. Yeah, yeah, Santa Barbara. Come on, man. Paso. Yeah, Paso Robles. I was like, wait a minute. I know that place. <laughs> you probably downed a few daddy pops in that man, region. Man, yeah. All right, man. Yeah. So uh, look it up. Paul it Kaufman, my guy. Yeah, there you go. I remember him. <laughs> you remember him? Yes, I do. A lot of people don't remember Napoleon. Napoleon oh, was a he was, was legit. Tough. Yeah, he was, he tough was for legit. the Raiders. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to go. No, you're good. The uh so uh Paso Robles made a golf themed beer and it's called Four. And uh F O R E, obviously. And it's what they call their, their estate reserve blend. It's got a picture oh. of a, a Ben Hogan looking type figure mm. on the front with a persimmon oh. wood in his hands. The legs are And um, this is a blend of Cabernet, Petite Syrah, and Petite Verdot. And uh, Petite Verdot is not a varietal you see out of California very often. Petite Syrah is. But what's interesting is that it started to gain in popularity in the late 80s. And uh, people thought it was Old Vine Syrah. And uh, come to find out, there's it's not related to Syrah at all. It's actually uh, an Italian, uh, sort of what they would deem the peasant grape. Uh, and it's a grape called Durif. And I really, really like them. And it's one of the few grape varietals that continues to get better the older it gets. And so... It ages like a fine wine? It ages like a fine wine. But what's interesting with the, uh, with the way the vines behave is that they'll get these great big gnarly trunks on them. It looks like something out of, uh, you know, like a... Halloween movie and they they will produce fewer clusters of grapes but and the berries are actually smaller but they get this really thick skin on them so they can leave them on the vine longer than what would be typical and so it really really concentrates the juice and so some of these vines are in excess of 120 years old wow and uh and not every grape vine works that way uh but petite syrah is one of them and um so you blend it with the cab you blend it with it's the good. petite syrah you blend it with the petite verdot and it creates a dark, rich red wine, spicy. Yeah. You get the big black cherry fruit up front. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like you say four, you get four straight to the dome. Yeah. <laughs> the, the legs are amazing, too. Yeah. It's, it's got some definite, some viscosity. Yeah. Too. No question. It's dark. It's you cannot stuff. see through it. How did they discover that the Verdot would work here if it's not a common enough grape, usually? Well, um, because it works in Bordeaux, France, where. Uh, where Cabernet Sauvignon originates. So in Bordeaux, which is the southwest part of the country, there are what they call the five noble varietals. So it's Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, um, Petit Verdot, Malbec, and uh, Cabernet Franc. And um, basically Merlot and Cabernet sort of dominate the blend. Usually, uh, you know, basically the, the region is divided into two parts is separated by the Gironda River, and it's kind of shaped like a banana. And so when you're on the left side of the river, the vineyards are further up north and the soil types are more suitable for Cabernet. When you jump a little, get a little further south, you jump to the right side of the river and those soil types are more suitable for Merlot. So on the left side, you're usually talking about 50% Cab, 40% Merlot, and then about 10% of the other three. On the right side, they're almost like 75, 80% Merlot, and then uh, maybe 20% of the other four. So, um, they knew that it would work, uh, but it's generally a blending type of a grape, um, not necessarily a grape that you uh, w would make a wine as the principal varietal of, although they do, but it's pretty rare. Idle love? Varietal of. Oh. Idle love? <laughs> My bad. So it's, 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 it's a connective piece. It's a varietal. Player. It's a variety. It's not oh. the star. Is that, is that fair to say? It's exactly. A role player? Yeah, it's a role player. Uh, it, it okay, actually, Austin? It adds some backbone, it adds some tannin, it adds some structure, it adds some color, uh, but by itself, oh. it can be a little bitter, be a little rustic, and not not that smooth. So uh, you want to you want it to add a little kick, not necessarily be the star player. Dang, I I wish they had that. I'll I'll be in first class tonight, and I wish I had that that I was sipping on that kind of cabernet. They give you that garbage. They give you that <laughs> stuff out of a can or that yeah, straight garbage. Well. It don't have that viscosity on it. That, no, that, no, it doesn't. You need to go get that four. I don't care what anybody says. Is it part of the spring bling? Uh, spring bling's done. Um, but um, and and this is no schlock. They, these are not cheap. This is a thirty six dollar bottle oh, yeah. of wine. It tastes but like it. it drinks like to me like a sixty or seventy. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. legit. 
and um, it's no rich without being edgy. It's it's smooth Ooh. and uh, it has a uh, yeah, just a great that, mouthfeel to it. Don't have that to that it, but punch. It has that, it has that, yeah, baby. Yeah, it it's almost like you take a sip and you don't even want to swallow it because it, it's just you just want to hold it there for a little while. The it, has, it has that it has that Austin, you know, um, about to have another one, like DJ Khaled. Another one. Like <laughs> if you give this to the wife, it might be. Another, Another one. <laughs> <laughs> the crushable coal sh- strikes me as waste management open, just out there all day having a good time. Right. Is this a, a master's type of wine? Mm, or is I would this say, an mm, open wine? Mm, Where's the, the fit? The master's dinner. Mm. You know, the champion uh, creates the menu for all the, all the other past champions. Yeah. This would be suitable on that table. I agree. Mm. Is that good? Sure is. Kevin <laughs> Meyer, Meyer's Cork and Bottle. Thanks for stopping in as always. Appreciate you, fellas. Thank you. 13th and South, check them out. Uh, even though the spring wine sale's done, they saw good deals. Again, 13th and South, Myers, Cork, and Bottle. We'll throw it to break. Jay Foreman with Old School on the other side. You're listening to Old School with DP and Jay. Download the mobile app and listen wherever you are on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. At Fairway Meat Market, your family, and as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now through April 14th, enjoy USDA Choice 8-ounce bacon wrap sirloins for $3.99 each. USDA Choice Tri-Tip for $9.99 per pound. One dozen large eggs for $1.98 when you purchase two. And 24 packs of Miller Lite or Coors Light for $15.99 with the purchase of two. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center, just south of 84th and Van Door. Hi, this is State Senator Carolyn Bozin. As a state senator, wife, and mom, I believe Lincoln is a great place to work and raise a family. My husband Reggie and I are local family business owners and actively involved in our community. Last year, I voted for the largest property tax relief package in Nebraska history. Property tax relief is important to every family, and I will continue to deliver more property tax relief to working families. This is Carolyn Bozin, and I am asking for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Bozin for Legislature. 93.7 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today, expecting lots of sunshine, but it will be windy. We'll see an action high around 63. Tonight, clear skies and a continued breeze with a low around 36. And tomorrow, we'll see lots of sunshine with lighter winds in the forecast. An action high around 72. The meteorologist Kyle Huck for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates, with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. Ironhide Construction is hiring. They're looking for hardworking, self-motivated individuals who are team players. Ironhide Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and a rector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Ironhide Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com, where they're committed to you every step of the way. Whether you like fishing together or fishing to get away, for the thrill of reeling in a big one, or just going out to have a good time on the banks of your local pond, at a bend in a river, or on one of our many lakes and reservoirs, you'll always find the perfect place to cast a line here beneath Nebraska skies. Start planning your next fishing adventure today at letsfishnebraska.com. Sponsored by Nebraska Game and Parks, aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. 
You don't think about your roof very often, but you should never take it for granted. Roofing Service Company takes every measure to provide you with the highest quality roofing solution. Whether it's a new roof installation, roof repair, or a re-roofing project, their overall goal is to provide you with a pleasant experience and a long-lasting roof. If you have a need for siding or gutters, they're your place too. Visit roofingservicecompany.com for more info today. Tanner's Bar and Grill is the perfect place to watch your favorite MLB teams this spring and summer, as well as Nebraska baseball. Enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials, and wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game, as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early and grab your spot and settle in for an afternoon or evening of baseball at Tanner's Bar and Grill, 30th and Yankee Hill. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 21 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Back to Old School with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up? We are live in effect. Jay Foreman, Austin Orman, Old School. We are in effect here at 1040 O Street. I want to give a big shout out again. We call him Uncle Kev, Kevin Meyer, Meyer Cork and Bottle. Always a good dude to see. We got to, I got to get him out there on Mondays. We're going to do the awesome tandem. We might be like uh, crocking and tubs out there on Monday nights. <laughs> so I got to hit him up on that. So I got to make sure I get back to him on that. But it's always good. Appreciate him coming in with the libations. I don't get to take part as much, Austin, because I'm coaching basketball and, you know, in front of the kids. You guys set a good example. But I always, always, I'm that, always there in spirit. But uh, anyways, we are old school, brought to you by the Mercado, certified PMIT, special ingredients at Butcher Shop. Two Lincoln locations, 84th and Havelock, 30th Yankee Hill. And then they're up in Omaha at what, uh, 186 in Maple? 68, yep. 168. See, I had it. You're I had right the number. Right yeah, yep. I'm getting close. I'll, I'll start adding that one, and I want to challenge myself. A um, little windy today, but still, when the wind uh, tapers down, it's always a, a great temperature to grill. And... Uh, Got a hot weekend this weekend, so be ready to get ready to fire it up. Close that grill. Don't let the flames jump anywhere. Yeah. But I was having this discussion with some friends yesterday. When it's this windy out, do you like the wind in your face or at your back on defense in the fourth quarter? Oh, on my back and uh, to my back. Number one, that, that one is not in my face, so that I'm not going <laughs> to. Well, I, sometimes I wore a visor so it would block it, but then that wouldn't mess up my vision. But the number two, quarterbacks be thrown into the wind. So then I would kind of curtail their offensive game plan. So definitely wanted to to my back. And if, you know, when we get the ball on offense, they're throwing with the wind behind them. Makes sense. Yeah. So with no excuses with the accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> or but, the distance. Yeah, or the distance. Right. Yeah, you better get on your horse if you're a receiver. You better be able to get, run those go routes and stuff like that late in the fourth quarter. Um but anyways, you know, a lot going on today. Uh, we're going to go, we're going to take this segment to uh, about another eight minutes, I think it is, um, because we're at uh, 36. Yeah, we'll go about 45. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll just jump right into it. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. We're, we're going to start with a, a, a Sheho Oatani's interpreter. Um, I sent you, sent you to text Austin. You know, it's now the feds have said that, uh, you know, $16 million that he's essentially siphoned from his so-called friend or, you know, whatever, you know, that he thought it was portrayed himself as. He's just an interpreter. But you know, when, when you come over from a country where you don't know the language, you become your best friend. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times that's the only person that you could talk to freely and without the language barrier. Stole $16 million from him. Um, Jay, do you realize that's a third of Shohei's net worth? Yes. Shohei's worth 50 mil. Yeah. Right, as of right now. As yeah. of right now. Right. Yeah. No, nah, obviously, he's about, to be, <laughs> he's about to be worth a lot more, a lot more than that. But yeah, what he's at right now, 
and the, you know, look, obviously, you know, betting and, and, and can lead to, you know, do a lot of damage. Um, especially obviously in his case, he's not very good at it. <laughs> I think the text I read, he said, uh, am I the worst? I'm pretty bad at this sports betting thing. Yes, you are. He was down 40.7 million. Yeah, dude, you're horrible. You're like, or maybe a but, thousand, but, but either you, way, it's ridiculous. And, and what people are like, Oh, what, how can you get that? You know, you lose that much. Well, mu much like the, uh, the guy that was in administration for the Jacksonville Jaguars, when you're, when, you know, and he did the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. When you're gambling with other people's money, you're doing stuff. You, you don't even care. You get what I'm saying? You're, you, it's not, it wasn't his money. <laughs> he was, yeah. he was, I mean, essentially he was all Tani's money. So that's why you're bad. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. And, and I'm sure he was just betting on things that eight different things had to hit before you could win. And then obviously he'd win a whole bunch because it wasn't his money. And he was, you know, oh, I'll just throw it there. It's like big bank, take little bank. And he got caught and, you know, Look, the players out there playing. He trusted him. He, he, he's, he's, I'm, I'm assuming he's had or has advisors around him. Um, not only, obviously, this guy. Well, first of all, he's not an advisor. He's just an interpreter. Yeah. You, I'm assuming you have an agent, financial advisor, a lawyer, or something. He does, except here's the thing. None of them speak Japanese. That's what came out in the, the deposition. So do they, do the, they speak English? Yeah, they speak English. Okay. So... Shohei and this guy were going back and forth in Japanese. And he's lying. But the interpreter could have been lying. Oh, yeah. 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 See, th see, this is the problem. You that mean, you lucky to be alive. Yeah, I mean. The, the, the Yakuza is out there, man. Listen. <laughs> hey. It, you, it, 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 there's, and, and who knows if he can get his money back. And, and it's not even that, right? I mean. It, it, yes, it is about that. Let, 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 me, let me backtrack that. Yes, it is about the money. Because it's his money. Mm -hmm. And you stole his money. You lost his money. But then it's like this is a big year for him. He made a monumental move to go where he's at. And now he's losing focus. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't. I mean, you, there's no way you can stay focused. How can you trust anybody from here on out? This is where really, to be honest with you, you would like to see MLB. This isn't a baseball this isn't a players association thing this is a ml mlb that means owners the the league office along with the players association step in and take care of him mm -hmm. be, be, and this is and because he's not he's on foreign soil this is not where he's from even if he, he's been here for eight years it's still not right, that's not a, you don't know you don't and he's in la yeah first of all that's the that's the devil's layers right here that's what i call it right there <laughs> So if you, this is where you have to do the right thing and step in and, and surround them with good people around them. Because look, man, I mean, any athlete, and this is where college, this is where, you know, I'm assuming 1890, you know, hopefully does a good, you know, will do, it does a good job. And then also that where you have life skills at the, uh, at, you know, for the, you know, the Huskers and, you know, whether it's men, any sport, any athlete, um, where they're getting NIL. There's people on campus right now that they think their job is to get up every day and find a way to take advantage of these athletes. Yeah. Now there's grown people out in this world. That's their job. That's part of their job because they know what they're doing better than an 18 to 20 year old or even a professional athlete. Mm -hmm. And, and, and even if he had a good eye on it or a good team around, like you said, it's a language barrier. They can't, they don't have anybody checking it. They would never have thought this. You know what? This is interpreter. He's known some for quite some time. Would be seriously out there, you know, gambling away millions of dollars of, of because he could be his interpreter forever and he would be making millions. His interpreter's making 450 grand a year. Right. Yeah, well, I mean, that's if that's not the, cl the classic definition of greed, I don't know what it is. And so it, I mean it's it's unfortunate, but it happens a lot. And um they always say the person, the people that you know kill you the the, the most are the, the people that are closest to you. One, because they know what you're, you know, they know your emotions. They probably know things that and, and pick up on things and, and read things because they're around you every day. Mm -hmm. Um, and and generally you don't get fooled by somebody coming with a glass that's empty and says tell you it's water. And if you invest your whole you know career earnings in it, it's going to make you a billionaire. It's the people that are closest to you. It's the people that you trust, maybe in a relationship that you trust 
somebody else that you say were a teammate, you trust their word. And so you, did, did you, you see that with any of your, your teammates or guys you knew in the NFL? Oh, it happens. It happens. It happens. Um, but not the specific thing. No, but, you know, the, the trust happens. And, yeah, it happens. Yeah. I mean, it happens to family members, happens to people um, in all form of fashion. I had players that I played, you know, basketball with in AAU and, and you know, it's all the same story. Mm. Family is the worst generally. And, uh, and you got to learn the word no. And then you got to make sure you have things structured to where, you know, uh, you're able to recover if something like that happens. But it's unfortunate, but it's crazy that this dude, I mean, what, does he go to jail? Is that what he, I mean? I assume he's getting locked up in federal prison. He needs to go to regular jail. Federal prison, that's like, you get cable, you get nice, you get three meals, right? That's pretty I mean, chill, he, right? He just, he stole. It's not like he killed anyone. The bookie, the illegal bookie might go to regular jail. Yeah, but he stole $16 million. Like how much do in you terms need of to... white collar crime though? I mean, think about Wall Street. Like sixteen mil, I don't want to like sneeze at. Yeah, it's like you, you three, turn four you, times. you turn your nose up at that's sixteen million dollars of hard earned cash. Yeah, that's after tax. Well, that's after taxes too, right? I'm so that's thirty two oh, yeah. million. It, yeah. Okay, oh, okay, fine, fine. You, you you need to do half your time in L.A. County Jail. I can guarantee <laughs> not you. Not solitary either. No, you need to be out there and with the common folks, and and then you'll think twice about stealing from somebody. Tell you like that. Tell you like them apples. What's the language barrier? I'm going to throw this out here. Um, 1296 says, good lesson on learning the language where you play a sport. I get where you're coming from, but also isn't there as much responsibility on Shohei's agent, you know, to try to learn some Japanese to communicate with him as it is on Shohei Otani to try to learn English? Like, I feel like that goes both ways. You can't just tell Shohei yeah, you can, yeah, learn that, English. That, tell I mean, the agent, I, like, if you want this guy as a client, you try to connect with him, too. That should be your selling point. You would think. Then I'm going to protect you, and I'm going to do what's right. I'm going to try to learn your culture as you try to learn mine, and mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you mine. I'm not going to say, you know what, I'm going to get my, you know, one and a half, three percent, and then have your interpreter out there just bilking you and gambling millions of dollars, and I'm your agent. That's, I mean, that's just that's the definition of like, you know, uh, uh, in air quotes, you're the typical agent. You can't be the typical agent when you're with with, with a player with any player. Um, it's like a coach in high school. If you, if you don't coach your kid or coach these kids past high school, then you ain't a coach. That means mm -hmm. you're just a user. So the agent, whoever he is, I don't care how big his name is. You're a user. And yes, I'm sure he, and this is what I do know. I met, I, on my birthday, I went to the Houston Rockets game and, uh, got to meet Yao Ming and go in the locker room, meet all the players. Got to meet Yao Ming. Um, got some shoes from him. I was like, dude, you guys, I mean, that dude was big. I didn't realize how big he was. I, I mean, Shaq was huge. Yao Ming is gigantic. I mean, <laughs> so I'm thinking as I'm going to meet, I brought him a jersey, he gave me his shoes. I'm starting to think like, okay, like I, I'm thinking, because at that time he had an interpreter and he didn't speak any English on camera. So I'm thinking like, all right, man, you know, this dude doesn't know any English. Well, we weren't, didn't have the cameras there. We kind of, you know, got to, you know, chop it up a little bit. He knew English. He just didn't feel comfortable enough mm -hmm. and was a little bit wary of saying the wrong thing. Now, I'm sure as his career went on, he started to do some some interviews by himself. But that might be the case with, 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 with Shea Hill. So I'm sure he learned it enough. And, and they always say English is the hardest language to learn. Yeah. Um, but even if he learned English, lingua, or English, excuse me, what does that got to do with the dude stealing? I mean, the dude that's right. stealing from him is, is supposed to be his boy. Money's a different language than yeah. English. <laughs> yeah, man. It's uh it's 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 unfortunate, but uh, you know, it is what it is at this point. Um, you know, that's big news. And um, you know, there yeah, first he's like, there's no way that you know Shea Hill didn't know, and now you realize he didn't know. And um it'll be interesting to see what what happens to him. I mean, it, you know, does he get extra extradited back and just kind of in the wind? Um it's sixteen million dollars that he can never recoup. It's actually it's thirty two million dollars. Let's just you know just times it by two of of hard earned money, which he did earn that he'll never be able to get back, no matter mm -hmm. what happens. He unless he's able to had it insured or something like that. But I doubt that guy had any uh, umbrella policy on you know stealing it or anything like that. So looks like he's going to be taken into shorts unless they can recover the money from the. Um, the bookie learn the lesson the hardest way possible yeah and he's fortunate enough that he's in the prime of his career signed a huge contract and they mm -hmm. caught it earlier than late because this guy could have probably been doing it for years <laughs> uh, or continue to do it for years and so 
um you know i guess it's better late than never or early than late and uh but man that's tough mm -hmm. that's tough which is funny that you like you mentioned the the potential distraction part of it yeah. Shohei's still batting over 300 with yeah. no PS plus 173. Yeah. I know. That, so that, that's what this guy looks like distracted. Yeah, <laughs> that lets you know how great Dang. he is. He's able to do it. But I mean, it just for a normal person, you'd be a little distracted. Now you have the comfort of uh, having a huge contract that you, that it was, you know, and then they had it. Talk set about up. a pillow contract. Yes, and they <laughs> had it. It's, it's you know, deferred too. So right. it's, this is long money because he deferred it so they could sign mm -hmm. some guys this year. So, you know, he's doing it from a good business sense. It's just that the guy that was supposed to just really interpret your words, dude out there, you know, hugging you and say a good interview and have his hands in your pocket. So, anyways, um, that's the news of the day. We're going to take a quick break, come back, got a short segment, get it at the top of the uh, 5 o'clock hour. Uh, we got Upside Bar and Grill coming in with the big uh, UFC fight this weekend. Then we'll dive into some spring ball. We'll dive into some Fayetteville, Arkansas. We saw Calipari in the in the in his maroon with, with it. He did not do pick suey though. He did not. See, I told you. Surprise. Yeah, I told you. I, told, I didn't think he's too cool for that. I want to see how I'm gonna. We want to see. I want to talk about his transition and Kentucky's transition. They're zero for one, potentially zero for two. They might be strike out, strike out, and then they're really maybe on the on the cusp of maybe. Call him Slick Rick and say, can you do it just for a couple of years? Jay Foreman, Austin Orman, Old School. We'll be right back. Watch Old School live on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. Old School with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havla. This week's special through April 16th is buy one, get one free on 8-ounce flat iron steaks, limit four per visit. Also, $2.50 off with any purchase of bread and burrata. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations at 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Sick of being upsold at gyms? My guy, you're currently a base member? For $90 more, I can upgrade you to our Shred membership. For $130 more, you'll be a swole member. And for just $300 more, you'll reach Sweat Platinum. At Planet Fitness, you'll get energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout. It's fitness that fits your budget. Join Planet Fitness for just $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel anytime. Deal ends Friday, April 12th. See Home Club for details. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today, expecting lots of sunshine, but it will be windy. We'll see an action high around 63. Tonight, clear skies and a continued breeze with a low around 36. And tomorrow, we'll see lots of sunshine with lighter winds in the forecast and an action high around 72. The meteorologist Kyle Huck for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Hockey season is winding down for the Lincoln Stars. Our final home game is Friday, April 12th, as we take on the Sioux City Musketeers at 7.05 at the Icebox. It's fandomonium all night long as we salute our great fans with prizes throughout the game. Don't miss out on your last chance to catch the Stars take the ice this regular season. Purchase your tickets now at LincolnStars.com. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place 
place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Cobble Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Cobble. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at CoppleCars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Back to Old School with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up, Jay Foreman, Austin Orman, Old School. I will tell you this. It, it, uh, we were going to jump, I guess, we got a quick segment here. It's only about two minutes. Obviously, the uh, big news of the day, uh, Orenthal James Simpson passed away. Um, but we're, we'll, we'll spend a minute on that. It, you know, I'm not going to get into that whole thing. But I was listening. Cam Newton was on uh, Club Shay Shay. And he went over a plethora of things. Kurt Cousins' contract. Uh, and, I, and he said Christian McCaffrey would be a top 10 receiver. I do believe that. Um, you know, his, his route running ability, especially in the slot, would just be doing just – he would – I'd hate to see him thicker than nickels, faster than linebackers. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, and the run after the catch in the space, woof, he would be a problem. They asked him about. First of all, at the Super Bowl, me and Jake. I mean, I've met Cam before. Um, give him. I'm gonna give him a shout out. He he un un um, no media attention or anything like that. He donated. Uh, I think it was twenty five thousand dollars to my daughter's school in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Um. Very, very minimal, very little fanfare. It was genuine, you know, took pictures with the kids. They just, you know, fond, you know, and, and he was great, you know. I just happened to be there. That's a big brother. And he's legit 6'5". He, I, I think he's a little bit bigger now. You know, he's probably, obviously, he's not in football shape. You know, 245, 250. Um, and obviously, he's made a lot of news with his outfits. Now he wears some extremely tight pants. I don't know if they're capri pants. I don't know. I don't know what he wears. I just know they're tight. Well, Shannon Sharp asked him about it. Now Shannon Sharp wears tight stuff, right? And, and so both of them are, you know, talking about it. Cam Newton says, "Don't think I don't have the juice. Bring your girl around me." <laughs> Cam, listen. <laughs> and, and and then when he did it, he sat back and took a big, you know, puff of his cigar. Blew a big thing. Like, it was a boss move, man. And, uh, it, you know, look, it, as much as we were, we're about to talk about OJ, you still got these young dudes out here doing some stuff, saying some stuff that just it just next level. And then you get on, he probably has some of his Shannon Sharp, uh, I think it's cognac or whatever he's doing. Yeah. Probably had that flowing a little bit because it was later in the interview. It wasn't at the beginning. So, but anyways, the big news of the day. Is o o Orenthal James uh, Simpson passing away cancer? Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't even know he's sick. I've never, I mean, pay much attention to him. Um, you know, obviously, you know, if if there ever was an example of hitting the highs of going to the, to the stratosphere of being the first two thousand yard back, being at the 
mecca of a football career. And then he was on every commercial. Remember the Hertz? Mm-hmm. I mean, you probably you know Hertz commercial and all this other stuff. Sideline reporter. I think he did one for one of our Orange Bowls. You know, I think it might mm-hmm. even been when we won our first national championship. Text line, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. In 1994, O.J. Simpson was on the sideline reporter. I've met him a few times. I'm obviously him and my dad. You know, know each other. Um, he was on. He was doing. Um, sideline stuff for when the Dallas Cowboys played the Buffalo Bills up in Minneapolis. So I, mm. I saw him and met, I talked to him quite frankly, numerous times. I even saw him, um, later on in, in my NFL career down at, a, uh, Roy Jones against John Ruiz fight. And I'm gonna tell a funny story real quick. So Don King, which is crazy. Don King obviously had killed somebody before, but he was trying to start a sports agency. So he flew a lot of us out there that were free agents out to this fight. And this one, it was cool because, you know, they Don King had the suite that they um, rented out the suite that they had on, um, was it not Wedding Crashers, but uh, what's the movie with the, uh, that was in Vegas? Hangover. Hangover. So he had that. And that's where we, we had to go get our tickets. It was like me. Lavernius Coles, it was all of us out there. Jeff Posey, and uh, so we had to go get our tickets. Well, Shaq was there with his friends, getting his tickets. So that's where I met Shaq. That's mm-hmm. where I was like, I was hugging, his, you know, like like a little kid hugging, hugging her dad. And um, so I met Don King. So then we went to the fight, met Denzel or whatever. And Denzel had the biggest bodyguard. I mean, it looked like Denzel, he was on, you know, on Denzel was on his shoulders. He's a little old dude. Well, anyways, people stand up. During intermissions, people kind of sit down. Then they stand up or, you know, you're supposed to sit down during the fight. But we were on, like, row eight. It was me and a couple other teams. Jeff Posey, Jason Simmons. I'm, we all met out there. Um, Ron Merkerson, who played at Colorado. His dad is a boxing promoter. So we were up there real close. Mike Rucker and all those guys. And so it was about a lot of NFL dudes. And OJ was in the row in front of us. And I talked to him and just said, what's up? And just, hey, man, remember me? I'm Jay Foreman. Just this and this. Jason Simmons is a dude that likes to, was it Riz or you'd like to Raz, Raz, or Raz yeah. a little bit? So OJ went and he had his like his left hand or something. So Jason Simmons was like, no, I want to shake your right hand. <laughs> right? <laughs> nah. right? And I was like, yo, because OJ is a big dude, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, Jason, you tripping, right? He's like, yeah, yeah, because Jason's from Cali, right? Ah. But he's like, let me get your right hand. So OJ, well, he was cool with it. Start laughing. Everybody started laughing. Well, Roy Jones, Roy Jones, because John Ruiz, I think, is from the Buffalo area, but he was fighting Roy Jones Jr. He was Roy Jones has always been one of my favorite boxers. Roy Jones had some friends in the first two rows. Well, they kept standing up. Now they're his buddy. Yeah, there's friends. So everybody's like, hey man, you know, you don't sit down, and they was just like, whatever. We're here with Roy. So we're in this and the fight started kind of getting good because Roy was coming up, I think, from middleweight or light heavyweight to heavyweight, mm. you know, to try to be a heavyweight champion. And we're and this is when the fight's getting good, but we couldn't see because we're like at room, like from we had the rows from six to ten. You know, we're right there. Mm-hmm. And um they weren't listening to us, you know. So finally, OJ stood up and was like, sit the F down, loud too. And they turned around like they were going to do something. They saw it was OJ, sat right down. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah, they, hey, listen, they do it. If it don't fit, you must have quit. But anyways, man, that's my OJ Simpson stories. Uh, nevertheless, uh, you know, he passed away. And obviously, like I said, you know, somebody that could go from the highs of highs and be associated with some not so good times. Um, and then kind of like, you know, it's just based on um, it's subjective. You know, you go to prison for <laughs> trying to get back your, your your property that got stole. That's how they get you in prison. And today passed away of uh, cancer. Cancer sucks anyways, regardless who it is. But that's the news of the day in the short segment. The top of the hour coming back. Uh, we're going to take a quick break at the top of the hour. Uh, we're going to have Upside Bar and Grill talk about maybe uh, some of the drink specials, food specials, and the UFC fight this weekend or Saturday uh, we'll go over the openings and closings, and uh, obviously they'll have some stuff on Friday night as well. So Jay Foreman, Austin Norman, Old School. We'll be right back. You're listening to Old School with DP and Jay. Download the mobile app and listen wherever you are on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet, KNTK FM Firth, 93.7 The Ticket. 
Hi, this is State Senator Carolyn Bozin. Education is a cornerstone to building a strong, vibrant community. I voted for the historic increase in funding for education in the legislature. As a state senator, wife, and mom, I believe Lincoln is a great place to work and raise a family. My husband Reggie and I are local business owners and understand the valuable role of education in our community. This is Carolyn Bozin, and I am asking for your vote on May 14th, paid for by Bozin for Legislature. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire, 402 402- 560-6197. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. Do you need motivation to get to the gym on the weekend or even in general? Tune into the Movement Hour each Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. Movement Academy owner Robert Kuhlman will host the show as he introduces new ways to stay in shape. The Movement Hour every Saturday morning from 10 to 11 a.m. on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese and 84th and Havelock. This week's special through April 16th is buy one, get one free on 8-ounce flat iron steaks, limit four per visit. Also, $2.50 off with any purchase of bread and burrata. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations at 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. You never think cancer will happen to you. I smoked for over 40 years. My doctor recommended that I get annual lung cancer screening. They were able to catch my cancer at stage one. It's never too late to quit. Even if you're still smoking, you need to ask your doctor about annual lung cancer screening. Just 30 minutes a year could save your life. Call the Nebraska Tobacco Quit Line, 1-800-QUIT-NOW, 1-800-784-8669. Paid for by Tobacco Free Nebraska. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America. This is Old School, sponsored by the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese. Broadcasting veteran Derek Pearson. When you find something that moves them, that makes them smile, celebrate it. That's your task. That's your superpower. Nebraska Football Hall of Famer Jay Foreman. Rifles a pass. It was tipped. It's picked off by Foreman. He's at the 15. 10, 5. He'll score! On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up, Jay Foreman, Austin Orman, Old School. We are back live at 1040 O Street. We are brought to you by the Mercado, Certified Piedmontese, Special Ingredients, the Butcher Shop, 84th and Havelock, 30th and Yankee Hill. We have a special guest in. We have Alana from Upside Bar and Grill to tell us about some specials for UFC 300. Obviously, for our UFC fans, it's Dana White says it's the best card ever assembled. And uh, with further ado, welcome back. Hey. Long time. Yeah. 
it's uh it's good to be back i like being here now i used yeah. to get nervous I'm yeah like, yeah now better. you're now you're a veteran <laughs> right yeah, yeah yeah pretty soon you, if you get dp in here he's gonna have you have a show here pretty soon but uh obviously you guys have been pretty busy obviously you have st patrick's day easter and all that stuff but uh obviously ufc fights is probably one of your biggest uh weekends we, we won't just call it a night because i think ufc starts usc is like a weekend of like wwf it yeah. starts on friday nights people start to amp up for it so tell, tell us about some of the specials and uh stuff you got going on over there for ufc 300 um so we actually you know for our specials we don't we kind of take the specials away because we don't yeah. charge a cover so that's kind of our special okay. we're gonna we're not gonna charge you to come in the door yeah um so just get there early i've we've had a lot of people like talking about this right this card and how, how yeah it it's, is it's, and... it's it's jam-packed so it's gonna be uh pretty exciting night yeah. but uh we do have specials on friday night we got moscow mules um on special and uh fireball shots and we got a great happy hour going so um dollar off wells and uh draws and domestic bottles for, for till six o'clock every night so yeah so on saturday we got prelim so you yeah. what what time will you guys open up on saturday Based on you know with prelims, then you get to the main event. Main event usually doesn't go off to about what nine, ten o'clock. Yeah. Sometimes a little bit sometimes later. Ten, eleven. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. when should when should people start uh, making their way over there so to get some because the prelims are good fights too. Yeah. But then obviously you're going to be leading up to uh, the championship fights later on at night. Yeah, that's actually what I've kind of heard uh, some people talking that love the UFC fights a little bit more than what I know the knowledge. Uh, but they said even the prelims this time are actually some some decent fights. Most of the time people don't want to miss those, but this uh, they don't care about missing those sorry um but this time they're, they're excited about them so i've got a I actually got a few people saying hey if we get there by 5 30 can we get a table pretty early compared mm -hmm. to usual mm -hmm. but if you want a table you got a group definitely send somebody in to to, to get some seats for you i heard rumor the menu expanded uh, is that true well yeah so last month we added some irish um items to it mm -hmm. and we've actually kept some on um because the corned beef did so well we've got some irish nachos um that was it's you know, I, I thought corned beef sounded gross. I, I'd never had it before. Corned beef is great. And then I had it. I made it. And I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I actually really love it. So uh, we added that and we've we've kind of kept it on. It'll become a permanent item, I believe. So, yeah. Flatbreads, too? Yep. We got the flatbreads. Those are really popular. The, the pepperoni jalapeno cream cheese one. That's my favorite. Pepperoni jalapeno cream cheese? Uh -huh. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> Who thought that one up? Oh, uh, me. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anything with cream cheese and jalapenos. We got a jalapeno cream cheese burger. Mm. Um, anything with that on it to me is amazing. <laughs> so you like jalapeno? Uh, I, with yeah. cream cheese. Yeah, yeah it's the two cheese. together. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. My, my dad got me started on that. He used to make bacon wrapped jalapenos. Oh, uh, well, that, so. you know what? I've had on the grill, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. See? So, yeah. The, talking to the grill now. Yeah. Here, yeah. So. I mean, on the grill, <laughs> I've had them. Amazing. I've, in Texas, I've had that, um, not knowingly. So, yeah. I mean, you know, when I got there, you know, they took me to a place to eat, so you got to eat it, you yeah. know? And I was like a little apprehensive, but it actually it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. So amazing, especially done right. Yep. That's what I was just about to say. You have to do it right or have somebody good that, bacon. Yep, somebody that knows, <laughs> knows what they're doing. So tell us what you brought. You brought us some, some yep. goodies. So what, what do you yeah. got? Tell us what, what you have for us. When would, when would you suggest, is this something that we should start with in the middle of our UFC night over mm -hmm. there at upside bar and grill? Or is this kind of a nightcap? What do we have well, here? This is kind of a dessert. It's a mm -hmm. it's a martini, and you're gonna laugh because my bartender, it's the one he loves to make. It's it's kind of like a Girl Scout cookie. Okay. It's a Ooh. different name for it. Grasshopper. That's what it is. Grasshopper. Yeah. Okay. And um, really good. We like started it with the uh, St. Patrick's weekend, mm -hmm. and kind of just stuck because people loved it. So this is like I said, kind of a dessert. Okay. Uh, you it's can, a very you nice could, you, green. You, yeah, you could you could, here. This is awesome. I'll just take a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Austin, Austin's Austin's <laughs> Austin. I'm a lightweight. Whoops. Jay. Yeah. Jay. I'm a lightweight. Jay. Jay. People can see us on street. People can <laughs> see What's, us what on street. What do we street. have here? Okay. So, you, the, so so then hand those. Three okay. Them. That's this is a, a br Irish breakfast shot. Uh -oh. Have you guys oh. ever had one? I have not. No. Okay. Is that food? Yeah, well, some bacon with it. So, oh, you so well, then you got me. Well, you know <laughs> how they say, with that? Hey, you know how they say you, they, you got me a hello? You got me a bacon. <laughs> you, you know, you, or you got me a bacon. So uh, anything with bacon, I'm in. Yeah, so you so you do the... Uh, the well, this first. Right? Yeah. Well, All right, yeah. I'll just sip this. <laughs> so that's your grasshopper. Oh, I get the oh, mint smell right good. away. Yeah. Yeah. This, and it does... This is... See, you know what this is, Austin? This is gonna. This is gonna. <laughs> yes, this is what kill you because you don't really taste the alcohol. No. It's all mint. Yep. You yeah. mess around, drink a full glass, as you be, be passed out in your chair. <laughs> this is literally a thin mint in a cup. Yeah. 
Yep. It's, it's fun Holy because cow. the bartenders will find things that they love and then you'll see how crazy they, they sell all the time because when somebody doesn't know what they want to drink, that's their go-to. Like, oh, I got this for you, you know? So it's kind of fun to... This is one. This is Jace's one of his favorite drinks to make. Mm, so. Yeah, nice. that's pretty good. Mm. Yeah. So, what are these two? What are the? What? How do? How do we do this? Here? Okay, so you start with the more clear one, mm -hmm. and then the other one's just orange juice. So don't worry, I'm not. I'm, I'm is, not. It, is it a chaser? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you drink this and then chase it with orange juice, and then you then you eat your bacon, and it's, it's oh, like wow. breakfast in your mouth. <laughs> All right, we're getting hammered on live. live <laughs> Says the guy that missed Thirsty Thursday, but whatever. Woo. <laughs> oh. The orange juice makes it better. <laughs> the bacon, I'm sold. <laughs> I'll do anything for bacon. Uh, that was good. What's that called? Bre uh, Irish breakfast shot. I like that. Yep. Yep. It tastes like pancakes and yeah. orange juice and bacon. <laughs> mm, I like that. That was pretty good. I'm Text running line. out of ideas for breakfast. So are you guys open for breakfast? Can no, I can get ah. you got to have your breakfast later at night. <laughs> ah, yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, as soon as you walk out there and when the bacon, like people are like, what's that? And all of a sudden you got whole bar order <laughs> so when there's fun. bacon everybody comes i mean <laughs> test line when you if you get over the to uh, over there definitely try it i like that mm -hmm. I, I definitely mm -hmm. would be having those <laughs> even though we're not breakfast time I, that'd be de definitely something i would be uh can, I get, can I get the bacon a la carte can I with like a couple extra strips <laughs> yeah, of bacon? Just bacon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really good. well she said she has like the with bacon wrap jalapeno she knows what mm -hmm. she's doing with mm -hmm. bacon yep. mm -hmm. i'll tell you this though that's something that you would want to do um you know, hey, everybody has to do it if there's a knockout or something like that. Oh, yeah. You know, that'd, that'd be, be great, yeah, you know, because yeah. it's, uh, special. yeah, well, because the orange juice is always, you know, good to, I don't have any experience, not a thing, <laughs> <laughs> to chase it with, and then the bacon just brings a little zest to it, man. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. It's, uh, and I like the mint one, too. I'm not a big mint person, but it tastes great. It does. Yeah, it tastes mm -hmm. great. And uh, the, honestly, you can say that's the first martini I've ever had. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. And the mint, especially if it's, I would probably like it chilled. Mm -hmm. I don't know how if yeah. you have it or like a little or this drink real cold. So usually, and then you I would end up hammered. Yeah, usually. <laughs> so you you put in a chilled martini glass. So mm -hmm. I couldn't quite bring a chilled martini glass. That's all right. That does it good. You did good. You <laughs> right. it was, Hey, you get your your Uber martini. So you, you get like Uber eats, Uber drinks. So you did a good job, man. That's that is awesome, man. You guys, I'm I'm excited. Um, I'm not gonna be here, but obviously we're gonna send as many people we can yeah. out there to upside. Come see us. UFC 300 drink specials. Get the Irish breakfast. I mean, that's actually good. The thing is, I'm gonna. I would say I need double bacon. Oh yeah, and then I'll I'll do double shots for double bacon. I, <laughs> yes, I love bacon. Yes. So uh, haven't you know haven't uh, had that before, but I like it. I also like the uh, the mint martini is obviously is great as well. So doors open when? Uh, so we open at one. At one. Yep. Okay. Yeah, as early as you we want. want you all all the way around the block waiting. Yep. And upset that if she's not there at one <laughs> or earlier, let everybody there and stay all through the night. And you guys close it to two because yep. the UFC fights go uh, late. And if your winner, if your favorite wins, then you got to party all night. And then you have the nightcap there with your little dessert. So <laughs> thank you for coming again. And uh, obviously, we, we enjoy you coming for UFC and obviously WWF. But UFC, this is going to be a really good weekend. It's going to be great weather. Yeah. So people are going to be drinking. And it's going to be almost to 90, uh, what, all weekend, I think. Pretty right? much. Yeah, pretty wow. much. So have uh, your bacon. It will something in your stomach. <laughs> yeah, have your bacon. <laughs> you know, I always say when you, when I'm out drinking, it's hydration situation. So be, make sure you yep. come and, and get hydrated. And enjoy UFC 300 Upside Bar and Grill with Alana. I appreciate you coming in. We're going to take a quick break. Jay Foreman, Austin Orman. We'll be right back. Watch Old School Live on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. Old School with DP and J. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Load up on meat and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. This week's special through April 16th is buy one, get one free on 8-ounce flat iron steaks, limit four per visit. Also, $2.50 off with any purchase of bread and burrata. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations at 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town.
This is Lancaster County Attorney Pat Condon reminding you to vote for my friend and colleague, Carolyn Bozen. Carolyn Bozen is a strong voice for Lincoln, who we need representing us in the legislature. Carolyn Bozen voted for historic funding for education to support our schools and for the largest property tax relief package in Nebraska history. Carolyn Bozen is the voice we need representing us in the legislature. This is Lancaster County Attorney Pat Condon. Join me in supporting Carolyn Bozen for legislature on May 14th. Paid for by Bozen for legislature. For Sean Jackson here for Bauer Infrastructure, a veteran-owned local company proudly serving Lincoln Lancaster County and the surrounding areas. Bauer provides quality work at an affordable price and they're growing rapidly. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit BauerInfrastructure.com. They have top-of-the-line benefits year-round work even through the winter. Bauer! Usher in the new era of infrastructure to an area near you. And as always, go Big Red! Hey Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska's always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student-athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red! Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of liberty for those accused and the pursuit of justice for those injured. Liberty Law Group's relentless trial attorneys specialize in criminal defense and personal injury law. We believe in treating every client with respect, compassion, and understanding. We know that navigating the legal system is stressful and overwhelming, but Liberty Law Group will carry that burden for you. When you're facing legal issues, make the right call. 877-42-LIBERTY. That's 877-42-LIBERTY. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Hi, I'm Senator Bo Bally. I was born and raised in Lancaster County, learning the value of hard work and grit at a young age. I built my own company, creating jobs right here in our community. I know that families and businesses in our community need lower taxes, lower cost of health care, and a great education. That's why as your senator, I helped pass the largest tax code and made the most significant investment in education in Nebraska history and worked to reduce the cost of health care. I'm Senator Bo Ballard, and I humbly ask for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Ballard for Nebraska. Hello, this is Mary Pat Waite. I've had the privilege of working with Lincoln Families as their realtor for more than 31 years, and I'm so proud to be associated with MP Dodge Real Estate. For me, your transaction is unique in its own way. My experience allows me to bring you trusted care and a really great outcome. My NP Dodge family shares the same client focus. Expand your career with NP Dodge. Call Eric at 402-434-2222. Do you need motivation to get to the gym on the weekend or even in general? Tune into the Movement Hour each Saturday from 10 to 11 a.m. Movement Academy owner Robert Kuhlman will host the show as he introduces new ways to stay in shape. The Movement Hour every Saturday morning from 10 to 11 a.m. on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates, with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. 
Come work at Continental today. Back to old school with DP and J on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up, Jay Foreman, Austin Norman, old school. We are back here at 1040 Oak Street. The wind is a, the wind looks like it's subsided here at Oak, Oak Street. It always works out well for us. It's been a great couple weeks for us. Want to give a shout out to my man uh, from the Mercado that has blessed us with with meat. DP got his uh, plethora of package. We got beef jerky, jerky out the gills, and uh, we got plenty of of uh, steaks and so forth and beef from the Mercado. So we appreciate them, their support, and all the things they do. Uh, we, we appreciate all the sponsors here at the ticket from 1890. Um, I can't. I mean, who else we got? I mean, big got, thanks to got, Kevin Meyer. Kevin Meyer coming in. Yeah, it's um, upside. Upside, Bar- yeah, now. upside. We got mm-hmm. everybody. I, should, I mean, it's, Lincoln Stars. Lincoln Stars. Not really sponsor, but yeah. they're friends of the show. Yeah, UBT. Um, everybody that uh, has helped this thing uh, get to where it's at, and and uh, obviously been able to talk to some sports and stuff like that. But Austin, uh, we are dead into spring football. Matt Rule spoke spoke or spoke today to the media, talked about different players, um, uh, different the quarterback situation. Uh, he talked about guys that have surprised him so, at, at times. Talked about the offensive line. I think he said that has done pretty well. Um, it been pretty consistent, and that's what you want. And so I think one of the biggest things, obviously, um, you know, one of the good things out there that came out was uh. You know, he said Chief Borders has been a good surprise. That means he's, you know, stepped up his game. That's good. There's a, there's, there's, I always say there's money to be had, reps to be had, and, and, and plays to be made at that position is, you know, the Jack position, which in with Princewell out this spring, um, not out, but, you know, obviously working his way back in. It's a chance to earn some playing time, earn some credibility, earn some respect throughout the whole team. And that's mm-hmm. what you should be doing every year. And no matter if you're Nash or Ty coming back or Buford, I mean, Buford's a little bit different because he came back late in the season, but still he was a big part of the team, even when he wasn't playing Um, or or Isaac Gifford or even a young freshman or like a Malachi Coleman or Jalen Lloyd, who seems to be just lighting everybody up every single day. Look, it's not just one day. It's every day he's giving you work. Or, or Thomas Fedoni, you have to earn your earn your stripes or, or earn your earn your keep every day, and that's what they're trying to do. And so it's really it's really good to see somebody like Chief Borders, you know, came in and played some last year. Like to see probably some more consistency. You know, obviously took the challenge, and he's able to circumstantially, um, you know, take advantage of his time right now. And so that you like that from everybody, and so you need to have that um, in every position group and uh, every player. We've heard a lot, Jay, over the last few off seasons about all the leadership that Nebraska has. And I don't want to, you know, discount that or shortchange that. But at some point, someone's got to step up and be a leader on the field. Like, yeah. go make a play. It's great that Nebraska has guys that hold guys to standards and they're accountable in practice and they're happy to go are play. Good. You hurry people there. But go Austin, sack someone. Yeah, Austin, go pick go, a pass yeah, off. Yeah, go see, say, go knock the head off right off. Please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I think the best thing is, is, uh, you know, you gotta. You, what you want is is you want guys to be, you know, motivated. Um, you want guys to you know to care about the team and also be a good teammate. And I mm-hmm. think that you know, in this day and age of our social media, um, individual, I only worry about myself. I'm only here to get mine. You will hear it all the time because we talk about basketball. I gotta get mine. I gotta you know play my game. I'm worried about my bag and all, you know, all these <laughs> stupid things that they're saying. Um, because whether you think LeBron's the best of all time, second, third, or fourth, he had the best, him and Steph Curry had the best quote about that. Basketball is fi- meant to be played five on five. So all the stuff you're doing is irrelevant, mm-hmm. right? Now, how does that correlate to football? Well, if you're only worried about yourself and then you will, and then that's great and all if you're what? Operating individually, thinking collectively. Why I could, I would be lying to you if you if I ever said I didn't want to play my best game, in part for myself. Why I worked hard for it, I made sacrifices for it, I dedicated myself to it. I've, you, you know, made ultimate sacrifices. Whereas like, you know, relationships or just 
you know, not being a regular college student, being, you know, focused for the better. That's what I want my reward, but I always did it for the betterment of the team. Mm -hmm. And I worked hard because I owed my teammates that. Mm -hmm. And I never wanted to let them down. So if you can get that, 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 that's, that's what you want. And, you know, you got to be, you, you have to have the guys, your older guys, not only set the example, lead by example, but hold everybody and then themselves accountable. Mm -hmm. And don't be, and, and, and what it can't be, you can't have thin skin playing football or any sport you, or in life, really. I mean, you can, but, you know, just let's, in, in a football environment, you have 100, let's say 130 guys. That's your like family. Mm -hmm. You know, what you do outside of football, say you're just walking up the street, you know, down the street, that's one thing. Well, when you go to the stadium, you're like, like in a hospital, you know, that's their family, right? You, not everything's going to be perfect. And there's going to be, you know, disagreements. There's going to be, you know, times that, you know, you have a bad day and you might jump on somebody, but at the end of the day, that's your brother, or, you know, in their case, your sister or whatever it is. You have got to be able to be coached. You have got to be able to be questioned. You have got to be able to be able to be motivated. And you got to be able to be let somebody else do all those things I, I said previously and not think twice about it. Mm -hmm. it. It has to be habit. It has to be just the default setting. And right. I, I like what you're saying about that LeBron and Steph quote basketball is meant to be played five on five, football is meant to be played 11, 11 on 11. 11. Right. Offensive coordinators know if there's a defensive guy who's gambling for his stats. Right. Defensive guys knows if there's an offensive guy who's loafing his blocks. Yeah. You know, and a play's not coming his way. So you can get around the edge and make that. Or a receiver. Tackle. Like, oh, you know he's not getting the ball because he's the, he the Steeler his, situation. His body language. Yeah. Not even doing anything. That's, yeah. It, but you know what? Then picking somehow turned it on and, and you get his. But at the, not doing what you need to do to be a good teammate is 1,000% being a bad teammate and being selfish. Mm. It is because whether it's basketball, whether it's football, whether it's hockey, whether it's volleyball, baseball, if you're not doing everything that you're asked to do and then some to be the best you, so Austin or Jay Foreman, you're a horrible teammate. Mm -hmm. So and, and what people only think about is like, okay, I'm in the weight room. Okay, that's fine. Are you eating right? Are you eating on time? Are you waking up on time? Are you going to bed on time? Are you hydrating? Are you resting? Are you recovering? Is your homework are, done? Is your homework done? Your schoolwork done? Are it, right? Then are you doing your football homework? Okay. Are you not only just watching, say, like you have install, just say for today, Thursday's install. Okay. Or are you making sure you got that down pat and then maybe getting ahead, right? Or going back and making sure that you know the things that you put in maybe in week one or week two down pat that it all kind of goes together. And you have to do that. And if somebody's making consistent mistakes or not giving you effort or somebody, there's a player here before that I want you know, they would tell you they struggled keeping their weight on. I would say you're lying because there's no way that you would, the, what they have and the science and the, you know, the, all the support, right? There's no way that you have a weight problem. So what you have is a dedication problem. So that means you're only worried about yourself. So if you go home on spring break, right, it could work both ways. We've seen guys in the offseason, even in the pros, right? I talked about Jamie Nails, right? What really set him apart where he started to become a starter in the NFL is where he became a better teammate. Well, for in his, in his excuses, I'm playing behind Ruben Brown. Um, He, he might have been playing behind, like, Dusty Ziegler and those guys that started, you know, and, uh, you, you, know, the, you know, guaranteed starters. So, you know, instead of coming back at 360, 365, well, he comes at 385 because you succumb to being okay at being a backup. But when mm -hmm. he dedicated himself, he started, played better, and ended up being a, a, a starter in the NFL. Now, he's Jamie Nails was always a great teammate. But once the light came on, it really shined brighter. And the reason why I say this is, like, you have guys that go sometimes in the offseason and they don't eat. They don't train, they don't sleep, and, how, and then you lose like muscle mass and muscle. Well, then you come back and just say, you know, you lose, let's just say you lose 10 pounds. That's no different than going and gaining 15 pounds as far as being overweight. Mm -hmm. How are you a good teammate? Because then you got to be playing catch up just to right. get back to where you should right. have been to begin with. Right. You're, so now you're, you're, behind. you're, now late. you're two, three, four months behind. 
How can I trust you? I used to have this conversation with him. You tell me you want to go to the league, right? But you show me you don't. Mm -hmm. You tell me that you got, that you have, that you want, you, you know, you want NFL, but you, you, you got like, I shouldn't, street free agent work ethic. Mm -hmm. You got part time work ethic, brother. That ain't going to work. I know you've talked, you've shared the story of, you know, not lifting weights when you first got to campus. Was that the light bulb going on for you? Well, I saw, hey, listen, I saw Troy Dumas. I saw Dante Jones. I saw my man, Dwayne Harris. I saw some of the guys that came in as freshmen. And then I looked at myself. I'm like, damn, Jay, you, you just look just weak. Like, I, and I was. Now, I will tell you this. Some high schools at that time had weight programs. I really didn't. I had to work because I had to pay for my own car. So I had to get a job. Mm -hmm. I played basketball. That's not excuses. That's just reality. Now, could I have figured out times to go get me out of work? Sure. Now, I will tell you this. And we'll go to break out this. When I committed to Nebraska, I told Coach Osmond. We, we can go a while. We got to 40 if you want. Okay, we we'll, go to, okay we'll go to 40. I told him, I was like, man, you stuck with me, brother. I ain't going <laughs> to mess up this scholarship. So I'm here. So I, I was just, and this is also a problem. It, it, not a problem, but this also was my immature mindset. Once I committed, once Nebraska committed, I committed to Nebraska, they committed to me. I still worked out and, and ran because and, my biggest thing is I wanted to make the 300-yard shuttle mm. because I, I looked at it as I knew I needed a red shirt. I didn't even know if I was going to make it, you know, be a good player because, you know, you just nobody. I was the first guy to go big time um college since john alt went to uh notre dame and i think it was like 10 15 years it might have even been before that joe alt's dad joe alt, yeah i mean he went to notre dame i think it was even before i don't even can't even i think it was him i'm not sure mm -hmm. but everybody was like oh you're going to the national powerhouse you gotta think minnesota didn't offer me until nebraska did mm -hmm. michigan state and all those guys offered me because i knocked out lane kiffin and all those dudes <laughs> so i came out of nowhere so you know me going here it was it wasn't a foregone conclusion and so when I got here, you know, the reality set in. Now, I will want I felt like not making a 300-yard shuttle and being in, in running shape is the most disrespectful thing you could do. I, that's what that's what my mind was thinking. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make it. They I knew it was hard, right? I knew it was taxing. And I remember talking to Dennis Ryan, who uh is the equipment guy or at least at that time it was the equipment guy for Minnesota Vikings. I think he still is. Um and Scott Studwell, who was, uh, uh, you know, working in the front office, and he was like, oh, that 300-yard shuttle is going to be hard. <laughs> Rich Gannon told me that because I was working out with Rich Gannon because he was trying to rehab his shoulder. And so that's all I did is do the 300-yard shuttle. Now, Nebraska sent a weight program. I was like, man, I don't need that. Now, that was me because I'm thinking, like, I can, I can ball until I fall, right? I felt like, you know, I was a running back. You know, I told, her, told you know, Coach Brown and Coach, you know, Osborne, you know, I was like, you know why I wear number six? And they were like, no. Nah. I was like, because when I touch it, it's going to be six points. I mean, I was really feeling myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that like, is incredible. I was really feeling myself. I love right? that from you. I yeah. love that from yeah. you. Yeah, I said almost. I said, listen, every time I touch it, that's good. It's probably going to be six points. I mean, I was really thought I was sweet. You know, I really thought I was, you know, you know. About that. Yeah, about that. Now, I was at times, but Lawrence Phillips was about that, too. He looked a lot different to me. And, and you know what's funny is I remember watching them against Florida State, and I hadn't committed to Nebraska yet. I was like, let me see what these dudes are doing. This is supposed to be the different year. I saw Lawrence Phillips. I said, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I can I can do my thing. If that dude is only – if he's only a year older than me, yeah, I might think about something else. And, I, you know, the story goes, I told Ron Brown, I ain't rolling around on the ground for nobody. I, like I said, I'm six points. I need the rock. You know what I'm saying? I I'm not coming there to do it. no disrespect, but you waste my on. yeah you waste my talents. Then I went to the defensive back room. Mike Minner was there, Tony Veland, Kareem Moss, Eric Stokes. Coach D was like, "Man, you ain't good enough right now." Kevin Steele, we didn't have a linebacker in our recruiting class. He would, Kevin Steele looked me up and down. He's like, "Man, you got wide shoulders, you got a big frame. What, you know, you want to play linebacker?" I'm like, "Nobody else want me. <laughs> I'll go." <laughs> so I went in there, you know, sight unseen. I'm like Mike Riley. They say, hey, you want to coach Nebraska? Sure. It's in the United States. I'm here. You want to play linebacker? Cool. I ain't never played. I mean, that's literally how it went. Coach D, at that point in time, I had played 
three games at safety. That's in my whole high school career. And the way it works is, and this is how crazy sports is. Jason Kapsner was our quarterback. Leroy McFadden was like our fullback, tight end, H-back. And I was the running back. Leroy went to Michigan State, um, which I always went. He went, he went, he's a year younger than me. Mm-hmm. Jason went to Michigan. He was a USA Today uh, quarterback, the, the number one. He would have been a five-star quarterback. He's the one who has his pitcher up there. And he went to Michigan. Trivia question. He was a higher, he, he was ahead of Tom Brady, not one year, but two years ahead of him on the on the depth chart. Still tell him you shouldn't have quit playing football. Um, and then I was a running back. Well, Jason got hurt playing or in warm-ups. He had a weird, weird, like kind of broke like a little bone in his foot, fracture. He's out for the rest of the season. We had to take our stru- starting safety and put him to quarterback. Right? So then I got double duty. That's how I got my scholarship. So it was like, what, divine intervention or whatever? Well, then next thing you know, the first game I played against Lane Kiffin, Dave Watson, and all them dudes that are going all there, all across the country. You know what I mean? All They had five div- Division ones. I started plucking them dudes off. I was a man on a mission. So when I got to Nebraska, man, it wasn't – I had a lot of work to do, a lot of work to do. And I didn't, you know, I didn't know what I was getting into. Nebraska was ahead of the curve in, in, in the weight room. I mean, you know, when I went on visits to Wisconsin, yes, they worked hard and, and all that. And I went to Nebraska, like a practice at Nebraska. You, you know what I'm saying? And Wisconsin mm-hmm. had made the Rose Bowl that year. They, 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 they offensive linemen didn't look like them dudes that I seen in Nebraska. The way they practiced and how physical and fast, Wisconsin was not like, and Wisconsin was, this is the breakthrough year. Yeah. Breakthrough year for them. That was the big difference. And when I got here, let me tell you something. I saw the difference the first day. I was like, <laughs> I got to get in the weight room. Now, I'm going to tell you this before we go to break. I, I was hard-headed because we got, came in as freshmen. I was just excited to be in a room where I was getting coached. Like, reality set in that running back position. I ain't going to do that. And then we had Shevin Wiggins, Dave Reddick. We had some good wing backs, and I, and I was not going to be doing that. I, was, I saw Abdul Muhammad led the team in receiving 27 catches. I said, this got to be a misprint. <laughs> Bro, I, I got more than 27 catches right now in high school. I need I need the rock. That, that, that's 57 or 87, right? What I <laughs> listen, I could score, I could put the ball in the end zone. So then I went, you know, then I'm playing, then we had freshman camp, you know, and I'm the only linebacker and I'm doing all right. I'm thinking, okay, this, this college thing ain't that bad. Linebacker ain't that bad. It was so bad that here's what here's what's funny. Here's what people don't know. Ron Brown thought he was gonna get me to play wing back. He did. He gave, like, when you're a freshman, you, they just give you a number. Mm-hmm. Man, I had number seven. That was Reggie Ball's number. Like, Ooh. I was going to be his backup. I said, bro, listen, I am not playing wingback. No, ain't happening. So I, I was linebacker number seven. As a red shirt. That's pretty baller. Yeah, yeah as a red shirt. Like yeah, but nobody cared, trust me. <laughs> um, but I made sure I got spatted up, though. That was the first time, you know, get spatted up when we had it. And then, so the freshman, three or four days, I did good. And then that varsity came in. <laughs> That's like when Matt Rule said, we got some dudes that were fast. Now, I wasn't that fast coming out of high school. They're fast. They need to get bigger. That's That was me. Mm. I needed to start eating and lifting. And then one thing led to another. So spring is huge, man, for these guys. Now, I was lucky enough to have a linebacker room that was player-led. Everybody held each other accountable. They had a standard. Coach Samuel had a standard. Coach McBride had a standard. So... From I had to get in where I fit in, or I was gonna stick out like a sore thumb, and um, you know, end up working working out for myself. I think we're gonna take a quick break, come back because there's an interesting story that I want to tell people about spring ball, about what I view as one of the greatest running backs in Nebraska history and competition, and how he dealt with it, and how when I just said you either had to get in where you fit in or you get ghost. Nobody ever talks about this guy where he's at, but. People assumed that he was going to take his spot after that, you know, uh, after we actually, I think after we won, um, after the Orange Bowl in 93 when we were in 94. So Jay Foreman, Austin Norman, Old School, we'll be right back. You're listening to Old School with DP and Jay. Download the mobile app and listen wherever you are on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Put lawn irrigation on automatic. Think Judson Irrigation for worry-free service to Lincoln homeowners and business community. 
Judson Irrigation will turn on your sprinkler system in the spring, repair or redesign as needed, and turn it off in the fall. For service to orphan sprinklers, remember Judson Irrigation. They'll never forget you. Call the Judson Irrigation Orphanage, 402-420-6277 or judsonirrigation.com. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska's always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. If you're a homeowner or a business owner, you have a lot of projects, and no one has an unlimited budget or time. Sunbelt Rentals makes all jobs less stressful with no need to purchase large equipment or hire a crew. You can do it yourself with rentals and everything from aerators and power rakes for spring yard work to stump grinders, concrete mixers, tile saws, and more. Check out their inventory in Lincoln, north of Cornhusker Highway on 56th Street or online at sunbeltrentals.com. Hello. Thank you. Angela, we have to break up. But why? Because you're a robot and I'm just a guy trying to get better internet. It's Ella Fiber, isn't it? I always knew you wanted faster speeds. My contract isn't good enough for you. Face it, Angela. They let me talk to real people. Press 4 to break my heart. Oh, wait. You already did. Visit allofiber.com to switch today. Spring often marks the beginning of severe weather, which can lead to power outages. LES wants you to be prepared before the storm. Restock your emergency kit. Update your info with LES, and if you encounter an outage, report it at LES.com slash report. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick-me-up. Hold up. The new 93.7 The Ticket location has a milk, coffee, and tea inside? Oh, yeah. This is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill yen times better. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Cobble Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Cobble. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at CoppleCars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. High schoolers, unleash your creativity and learn about potential careers in broadcasting at the Digital Expressions Media Camp. Have fun, make friends, and get hands-on experience with video and radio production June 9th through the 14th at the University of Nebraska at Kearney. Scholarships are available from the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and spots are limited. Learn more at digitalexpressionscamp.com. That's digitalexpressionscamp.com. Tanner's Bar and Grill is the perfect place to watch your favorite MLB teams this spring and summer, as well as Nebraska baseball. Enjoy Tanner's delicious hamburgers, chicken lips, and daily specials, and wash it down with one of their tons of options of beers. You'll never have an issue finding the game, as there are TVs everywhere throughout the space. So get in early and grab your spot and settle in for an afternoon or evening of baseball at Tanner's Bar and Grill, 30th and Yankee Hill. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 7.30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up, Sipple. Two questions for you, two for Sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up, Sipple. Weekday mornings at 7.30, brought to you by Bagels and Joe. On the block with Strick and Austin. When you're when you're in New York, Nick, in New York, I mean, you're talking about, you see mafioso types. <laughs> you go into a restaurant and you would literally eat. Hey, come over here. You know, they, they, you know, I don't know how to say it. I don't got the accent, but they would say, come, 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 come over. Have a drink on me. 
And what are you going to do? Say no? You, you not say you no, don't to say no to the drink? <laughs> you don't say no. Weekdays from 2 to 4 on 937 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Back to old school with DP and J on 937 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. What up? We're back. Jay Foreman, Austin Orman, uh, old school. Got one more segment before we send you guys off on this beautiful Thursday, as long as the wind stays below 35 miles an hour. You know, they were blowing around <laughs> here, boy. Um, Your boy walked out to get lunch, and yeah. glad I made it back. Yeah, <laughs> man, that, head, that headwind. You'd be walking in the headwind, man. It's like, <laughs> but you know what? We can't complain. The weather's going to be nice. It's going to be uh, hot this weekend. It's going to be beautiful. Got the Masters are playing, and uh, they got started, so hopefully... It's a good productive weekend. You ever hit a hole in one? Oh uh, yeah, I got. I, I won't even tell you how many I have. I, I got. Yes, I have. Dang, nice flex. No, it's not. It is. One was luck. One I didn't even see going. The That's Strix. Strix didn't see his one going. Yeah. Um. And then the other two were hit actually good. Mm. Yeah. So, but I take them. We get in where you fit in. I saw a guy one time in Houston. I was playing in like a charity tournament. His dude could just kill the ball, and he hit like a low drive, um, and he hit a hole in one on a par four. Oh, yeah, from the, yeah, <laughs> smoked that thing down there, rolled up in there. Yeah, dang. Yeah, um, but uh, anyways, you know uh, when we talk about uh, you know spring ball and uh, you know some of the great players and being challenged and answering the challenge. And, um, you know, I know things are different, but, you know, at the end of the day, when guys are competing for positions, you're going to be challenged. You're going to have to deal with adversity. You're going to have to deal with, you know, even as small as you had a good practice, but somehow, some way, you know, the media is talking about another player at your position. Those are the things that, that the mental, uh, like, aspect of it that is factual. You know, it's different than now. Like, I always say this, these kids on the, on, the, on the team now, all the way from, let's just say, 7th and 8th grade from when they start playing 7-on-7, seven seven, you know, high-level 7-on-7 seven seven or whatever you want to call it, they, to be honest with you, probably did more, have done more interviews and more media attention by the time they come to college, if they're a three or four or five-star recruit, than I even had the five, four or five years that I was here. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, times have changed, and I understand that, but so their their idea of reality is is just skewed like for for instance i remember when jason peter when we we had him in here we have to have him him back we used to talk about listen you weren't getting interviewed unless the coaches said okay he he's been playing good enough to get interviewed Hmm. now look tommy frazier those guys are always up there but defensively it was a select few it wasn't because you always gave him a good quote it was like if you got up there, you know you're doing something right. Or a lot of these guys get their name in. And so you have to deal with that. And you in you're always and it was, I don't know if it was planned or not. We always kind of had to fight for you know respect. And that's part of competing, dealing with adversity, mental anguish and all this other stuff. You have to deal with it. And so, you know, guys uh, you know, have had to find different ways to answer the bell. Some guys are dealing with that right now. Um, I would say you know, I know Mike Rozier won the Heisman. We have Amon Green. But, you know, Lawrence Phillips is one of the greatest, you know, running backs to play here in Nebraska. And I remember, um, you know, seeing him and just like, man, this. and he got so much better from when I saw him in 90, you know, in the 94 Orange Bowl, but 93 year than when we got here, you know, when I got here. And I'll never forget that uh, this that let me know that there was there's no friends and they're all you know Nebraska yeah, at at the point was always going to get great running backs, and we were in spring ball and you know I'm trying to just get some reps and you know win a spot or you know get some <laughs> try to get potential playing time. And I remember we signed Brian Knuckles, who at that time I think was if he wasn't the number one rated JUCO player, I know he was the by far head and shoulders the number one rated running back. And the the conversation was, was Brian Knuckles going to take carries from Lawrence Phillips after the 94 championship? So this is 95 now, right? This is about to be the greatest team of all the, right? Right? But he's in spring. And I think, you know, Brian Knuckles, for whatever reason, started a scrimmage and did pretty well, right? You got to think, Lawrence Phillips, number six pick, I think, in in the draft. 
Um, you know, one of the greatest, you know, college running backs in that 90s era, one of the best in Nebraska football history, without a doubt, was challenged, right? Whether he liked mm -hmm. it or not. I mean, Lawrence obviously always had, you know, I feel like superior confidence in his athletic ability and his playing ability. But look, man, that you know, being challenged or competition has no friends. You, you know, every coaching staff, every situation, you will be challenged whether it's internally or externally, your opponent or your, you know, spring ball, your teammates. But, you know, I mean, there's a lot more that goes into just being the Juco, you know, Juco running back coming here in Nebraska, dealing with this competition, not only in his room, but the defenses that he had to face, not just the starters, but the second and 13 guys that were bringing, bringing more, you know, heat than the law allows. And can you get through it? Well, that didn't last that long. Mm -hmm. Brian Knuckles was just like a ghost in the wind, right? I think he ended up somewhere else, but I know he wasn't here. And Lawrence took off from there. Um, and and if you ever so if you ever think that competition isn't good, and, and you know cream always rise, all the difference that creams always rise to the top and all that stuff, you have to deal with it. Did you do you like it at that time? No. When you know when I was splitting time with another guy, I didn't really like it. You know, I was started out a middle linebacker, but I understood that. Once I embraced it and stopped being mad at Nebraska, mad at Coach Osborne, mad at my linebacker coach, mad at the the the, the other player that I'm playing with, and started embracing it, and then also somewhat using it as a positive and finding different ways to like trick your mind and then looking at it like you know what this isn't so bad. I could not be playing if I would have actually transferred. I would be sitting out this year. Would it be worth it? I'm not getting as much wear and tear. I'll be bigger, faster, and stronger. I was able to kind of dedicate myself harder during the season to get bigger, faster, and stronger because I knew he was going to be a senior when I was a so I was a sophomore. So I got two years to start. So it ended up all working itself out, but it took me a while to get there. Why? Because I was always, you know, was like, oh, why, why me and all this other stuff. So this is what a lot of these players are going through right now. And that doesn't mean you you don't be a good teammate. That doesn't mean that you don't hold your, yourself or your key, teammates accountable, but you know, you're dealing with every day answering the bell. This is the hardest time in spring. You're halfway through. You can see the finish line. You've worked hard to this point. You see the payoff, but it's like, here's the equivalent. You know, before we, we uh, put a bow on this Thursday, the one time in my high school career, Austin, that I ran the 400, I've ran it in practice. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, I thought I was doing something. But I'm gonna tell you what, in in the back back hundred when you make that, you know, the last hundred was into the wind. Oh. So when you turn that corner and you and I'm thinking I'm moving, yeah, you start to question a lot. You get stood up. <laughs> yes. I was a hundred so I could see the finish line. Mm -hmm. I could see where I was at, but the reality was I was a long way away from getting to my goal. Mm -hmm. And that hawk hit me in the face in that wind. And also that big old weight on my back of running the 400 that I'd never done before because I was more, always more of 100 and 200 than long jump, and I did all the jump, set in. So that's where you got to have the discipline that I talked about. You got to have, you got to be, mo you, I was motivated to run it, and everybody's motivated. But do you have the discipline to continue with your running technique and, uh, you know, and finish and finish strong, right? Did you? I didn't, no, I got hawked. Ah. I, and I got hawked by my best friend, Jamal. Oh. I got Hawk. Nah. Yes. And he said something to me as he passed me. No, I, he and the, yes, he did. Because he was in it. And I was winning the whole way. It, it, and I beat him in practice. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, how you let me beat you in the 400? This is what you've been doing. You've been doing because he was a 400, 800 guy, you know? He got me. And he has <laughs> never let me live it down to this day. To this man. day. So one of the best days of my life is one of the worst because I continue to, I can see it now. I'll never forget it. <laughs> What I got, it was a Hennepin County open. I was run, coming about there and I was about to start cock the head back. And that hit wind hit me. Spoon. I was like, whoa. And he powered through it. And I ended up uh, getting third place there. He's not uh, slew footed, is he? No. It, there he, it is. He, the no, that was it. Yeah. I, but I was, I was, I was in the lane. I wasn't going sideways at that time. He ended up going, uh, doing some great things. He ended up playing Division II football. So he was definitely a good athlete. But, he definitely has a one up on me. Not too many people do, not at least in my close circle. And he definitely does. He went, he starts every argument with that and ends it with that. <laughs> but 
nevertheless, good story time. We want to thank Upside Bar and Grill coming in. Obviously, uh, Kevin Meyer, Meyer Cork and Bottle for uh, coming in on Thirsty Thursday. Big shout out to Strick. You got uh, Strick and Cluster coming up on uh, WTF. I think it's the first time in a little while that they've been on, obviously, circumstances. Um, so they're going to deliver a good uh, show for you guys Thursday or for this Thursday night. Strick is streaming in from the airport. Mm. That's what I'm talking about, Strick. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Yeah, on the street. Got the gleam. Jay Foreman, Austin Orman, old school. We'll be right back. Kansas Speedway know how to have a good time. One that celebrates fantastic 